you want to go have a lunch or dinner for like whatever money you want to spend, you can actually afford that. What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about six ideas that I realized too late about finance. So six rule financing rules that I realized too late. So let's get straight into it. The first one is to learn not only one but several high income skills such as or coding in specific type of languages, programming languages such as C++, C, Python, Assembler, different SQL, different types of languages, but, but not only about learning these programming skills, but also to learn video editing, which nowadays is becoming more and more trendy and it's becoming more and more important to learn. So that's definitely a high income skill, but together with marketing techniques and marketing ideas and, and marketing concepts, together with sales, the art of sales being able to sell to people that they have a problem or they have a need in something is a super important skill and can give you a potential high income stream into your life. The second one is to have several, not only one, but several sources of income. By having different jobs, for example, especially in the beginning, by having several sources of income, it's gonna be much better and it's gonna provide you much more safety as opposed to having just one job, just one source of income. So for example, by having a job where you like a nine to five from Monday to Friday and then having something else like another, like at least two, in my opinion, I would say sources of income. So for example, another job, like a only paid job in the weekends or another kind of investment for stock, for example. The stock is a potential source of income which does not give you like you don't need to put a lot of hours into that and it can grow easily throughout the years and it's a good source of income as well because in the worst of the cases if you lose one job but you still have two other sources of income while you look for another job or you do some entrepreneurship and then you look for i don't know in case you want to get clients for your own company or you want to create your own company or your own agency or your own consultants company or whatever while you're looking for clients to pay you and get stuff done for them you can still live with these two sources of income so because of the fact that if you only have one and you lose that one you're f then you need, look, you need to have at least one to two sources of income that provides you enough money to survive kind of and not just use the money from your savings for doing that that period of time that you are looking for another job or another source of income. Then the third one is to, and so many people might not agree with me, they would say like, no, just save it. Just save it or invest it into stock or something else. But it's to reinvest the money you make into the same business. And a really good example for this one is in case you have a shop, for example. A shop requires an investment capital from the beginning and then the money that you make, the actual revenue and the profit that you make, you need to reinvest it into the business all the time, all over and over. And by doing that, you're helping yourself in making more money. So by reinvesting the money that you make, it will help you out making more money instead of just saving into a place or like an account where it's actually not doing anything that money is not growing so by reinvesting in a business or reinvesting in stock or reinvesting in another real estate for example in case you can't you can't afford that then it's much easier in order to make more money at the end of the day because also by having that mindset of reinvesting it's going to be much easier and you're going to have a comfortable life because the money that you still have left and not you're not reinvesting you can use it for living without any worries in your life so if you want to go have a lunch or dinner for like whatever money you want to spend you can actually afford that and you can actually do that with the mindset of reinvesting the money into the business or into stock or into something else and not just keeping it in the same place, in the same bank account without doing anything useful. The fourth one, and this is something that I've been talking with some friends and they, some of them agree and some of them do not agree, is to get paid by results. It's better to get paid by results than by hours, definitely. And by results, I mean when you do something. When you do something and then you get paid, you make, for example, an application and then someone else buys the application in the best of the cases or you make a product, a digital product and then someone or you can sell it to other people or someone buys your product you're actually getting paid by results you were, you 
make a result which is creating an app, creating a course, creating whatever digital resource and then other people are buying that one. So it's much better to be paid by results or like by product by selling a solution that is already made that by hours because hours are limited everyone has around eight hours per day to be to work but that's limited that's something that you you're selling hours you cannot sell more hours than what someone can buy it can work every day while if you sell a product you sell a solution you can sell it as many times as possible and even if it's digital if it's a digital product you can sell it one and not one and one over again and one over again all the time while if it's a physical product you need to think about restocking and all that stuff but that's something that we can talk about in another video and then then the fifth is safeness and by safeness I mean to have by different by having different sources of income and by having your own business and then you're looking yourself by for the clients and not having someone above you like when it comes to having a manager or a boss you are much safer when it comes to having yourself you, you you're actually working for yourself and it depends 100% on you that you get paid while if you have a manager or you have a boss and you work for a big corporate in these situations it's much easier whenever you it's easier to get fired and then what are you gonna do like then you go to a job and you can actually be fired at any time so in those situations so it really depends on the person but by having your own business or being a freelancer your what you do is actually accountable on 100% on you you take your decisions you take and if you take the wrong decisions it's, it's everything because of you because of your fault so if you're not getting paid by a client it's because of your fault and not because of someone because at the end of the day you cannot be fired when you have your own company when you have when you are the company when you are the freelancer you cannot get fired by that from one day to another one or from one month to the next one so it's 100 percent accountable on you and your takings and your decisions and what you do in the job in order to provide the results that the client wants or that someone wants and not someone that is deciding if you're staying in the company and in that position because of x y or z and then the last one is to be more the producer than the consumer be more the creator than the one that watches be the one providing solutions than the one creating the problems and this is really interesting because by being more the one that produces things instead of the one that consumes that is the one that is all the time consuming and more the one that produces or maybe you watch and you're the consumer and then that is helping you out in producing something else for example if you watch youtube you might be watching some specific channels that provides you ideas for making your own videos and gives you like an inspiration but always with the idea of being and becoming the one that produces more than consumes the one that creates a product or sells a product for them consuming that product by other people that useful product that be that product that provides value to other people so yeah that was pretty much it for this video hope you enjoyed it i have another channel as well which is called, called friendly talking but i focus more in other stuff and this one is also my own channel which i will be talking about other stuff but not as a regular basis by uploading two videos every week so i'm in this channel i'm just gonna upload whenever i feel i have something important to say or to explain in this channel so yeah hope you enjoyed it and see you again in the next video make sure you subscribe if you want to know more about this one ciao